Hello everyone, my name is Kelly Klotz and I'm a fitness trainer at a retirement community. The generation of older adults that have been living in retirement communities for the past about 7-12 years are typically very uneducated about exercise and diets. Though I try to ensure that my residents are aware of the types of exercise and the amount of exercise they should be getting each day and each week, they are still unaware of how the diet they maintain affects their living and affects their exercise. A question that I get asked quite frequently every day is how do proteins affect exercise and body weight? Those are two questions that seem to be totally different, but they also run alongside each other. Um, to begin with, proteins are the building blocks of human bodies. They are essential for our nourishment and they are essential for our growth and development. Proteins are made up of amino acids and when a protein is consumed, the body breaks down that protein into the essential amino acids that we need through the digestive system. In a 2013 study conducted by Joy and colleagues, the recommended daily intake of protein for the average person was stated to be 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight in order to meet nutrient needs. Proteins can be sourced to the body through meat, fish, eggs, soy, legumes, um, and some grains, just to name a few. Proteins can also be sourced to the body through supplements such as uh, energy bars or drinks. So there are several sources of protein that a person can have access to. In the past, carbohydrates were heavily relied on for nutrition before and after exercise. In the 2017 International Society of Sports Nutrition Stand on Nutrient Timing, Kirk Skik Ektal wrote that Ivy and colleagues were among the first to illustrate that carbohydrate timing could influence post-exercise body functions. Later researchers would find that a combination of proteins and carbohydrates actually help the body to function at its best and achieve the optimal amount of benefits from the nutrients consumed. Some studies, such as Delugos et al.'s 2016 study on supplemental protein on heavy cycling, even report a substantial increase in performance in exercise bouts the next day, along with increased muscle recovery time. According to Delugos et al.'s 2017 study, the combination of carbohydrates and proteins ingested prior to a workout can pr pr preserve the whole body muscle function and re reduce post-exercise muscle damage. Some studies have found that the combination of these two nutrients increase an individual's power output during exercise, but other studies have found that there was no real change. Delugos et al.'s study was one to find that there was a possibility of muscle torque being increased by the consumption of carbohydrate and proteins um, in a loaded meal prior to exercising, though it cannot technically be proven that a combination of these supplements will continue to increase muscle torque or muscle force, muscle force production throughout a workout, this study provided some of the first evidence that muscle force is better preserved throughout a workout when both carbohydrates and proteins are ingested prior to the workout. Other studies, such as the one conducted by Restad and colleagues, looked at the effect of proteins and carbohydrates ingested after a bout of exercise. They found that consuming a combination of nutrients increased exercise performance the next morning. An improvement in exercise in the following day shows that the body had recovered well enough to perform better. Improved recovery is a huge benefit that can be experienced when protein is included in diets. Exercise can deplete our energy stores and leave the body drained and tired. When the body recovers, it must replenish everything that it lost from the workout. Protein intake can increase muscle, gl muscle glycogen recovery, which is needed to be broken down through glycolysis to produce ATP, which supplies the energy needs for exercise. Argon and Schoenfeld reported in their 2013 study that protein intake can increase muscle glycogen resynthesis if consumed within a two-hour anabolic window after exercise. According to their study, the two-hour window was extremely important and can impact re resynthesis by up to 50%. The timing of protein consumption has been heavily debated over the years and will continue to be debated as researchers are finding that there are benefits to consuming protein before, during, and after exercise. Another important role that protein plays in the body after exercise is the repair of muscle tissue. As I mentioned just a moment ago, there's a heavy debate over the optimal timing of consumption of protein in order to achieve the maximum benefits that will provide the body, uh, that it will provide for the body. 
Using protein for muscle repair is very important as the depletion of energy stores can cause significant damage to the muscle tissue. Kirksick et al. reminds us that uh, though timing is important in order to achieve maximum benefits, it will always be debated and whatever works best for you is what you should continue to do. Finally, many of my residents are confused about how protein works in the body in terms of weight gain. While many understand that protein helps build muscle and muscle weighs more than fat, so many of them do not understand how protein can actually aid in weight loss. While protein does help build muscle, it also helps the body feel fuller for longer periods of time, resulting in less snacking and eating throughout the day. And that also equates to less calories eaten. Though many older adults consider protein to be heavy in weight, um, the weight of the food uh, does not mean that it will pack on additional pounds. And it will be actually very beneficial in their pursuit to lose weight and gain muscle mass. Like all other topics that are researched, of course there are limitations, such as training volumes in the conducted studies, comparison of data simultaneously rather than apart, um, matching total protein intake, things like that. Um, and in the future, these are all factors that researchers should um, try to limit as much as possible just to um, kind of make the studies a little more even. Um, but essentially, the takeaway message here is that proteins are crucial for our bodies in um, bouts of exercise, rest, and recovery. Proteins help our bodies to recover quickly, and they provide the nourishment that is necessary to remain in good health and to continue workouts. Thank you.